This video will walk you through the steps to install WordPress, WooCommerce, and the Seedprod WordPress website builder on your computer. We'll be using a free application called Local. This will allow you to create and test any type of WordPress website on your own PC at any time. Let's get started. So we're going to be using a piece of software called Local, and this is the number one local WordPress development tool. It works great on Mac, Windows, and Linux, and you can come to localwp.com or click the link in the description below, and you can create an account with them if you like, or you can download for free. I'm going to click on download for free here, and you can choose your platform. For me, I am on a Windows, and you can enter your first name, last name, work email, or phone number. They actually only require your work email, so go ahead and enter that, and let's click on get it now. Next, you'll see that the download is starting, and I'm using Chrome, so you can see it downloading in the bottom left-hand corner there. I'm just going to fast-forward the video until this is done. Great, now that the file is completed downloading, I'm just going to click on it here, or you can double-click it on your hard drive. And here it should pop up to choose your installation options. It may be a di little different for you depending on what system you're using. So I'm going to hit only for me and hit next. And I'm going to go ahead and install this. And during the process, you might see some alerts pop up in Windows if you're using Windows, where you might need admin privileges. So you can just hit yes to agree to those. Here I'm going to hit run local and hit finish. Great, so here's the window. This is the actual software right here that we can see in front of us. And we have some different options here on the left-hand side. I'm not going to go through this. I'm just gonna show you what you need to know. So I'm just gonna click on create a new site and we'll give it a name. So I'm gonna just call this seed prod. There are some advanced options here. I always leave these alone personally. And I'll click on continue. I'm gonna just select preferred and hit continue. Put in a username. This is your actual login for WordPress. Put in your password and hit add site. So here I had a pop up. It says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? And I'm going to click yes. Now I'm not sure my recording software actually picks that up. You may have seen a black screen there and it's going to continue adding WordPress and installing it and setting it up for us. And there we go. There's one more thing that I want to do first, and that's the SSL certificate here. And this will give us the HTTPS in the URL, but locally, which is a great feature. So let's go ahead here and hit trust. And I'm going to get another alert here and hit yes. And again, that'll probably make my screen go black for you. And now we have two buttons here, WP admin. So you can click this or open site. Let's go ahead and click on WP admin. And this will open the admin area or the login page. Let's just put in that same username and password that you used earlier and we'll click on login. Now you'll see that it says not secure here. So the first thing I like to do is go to settings and general and here under the WordPress address and the site address, I just add a little S right here. Let's go ahead and save this and this is going to log us out. And now you can see that we have that secure lock here and we'll go ahead and just log back in. I'll use the same username and password and go ahead and click login. There we go. We're on the secure version of our WordPress website locally on our machine. I'm just going to close this local browser here. And the next thing that I want to do is install WooCommerce. Let's come over to plugins and add new, and we'll just search for WooCommerce. Now you can skip ahead if you don't want WooCommerce. You can check the timestamps in the description below to go to the seed prod part. And now we have WooCommerce. We can just click install. And you can actually install whatever you wish inside of WordPress now and work with WordPress as, as you like. This is completely functional now. Now Seedprod, the elite plan comes with WooCommerce blocks included with it, but they will be grayed out if you do not have WooCommerce installed. So to use those, you need to have WooCommerce set up and running. Let's go ahead and activate WooCommerce. And this will run you through the setup process here that'll load. We have the store details you can enter, your industry, product types, business details, and your theme. I'm going to go ahead and skip this setup because this will be unique to whoever's using it. So down here at the bottom, I'll skip the setup, store details, and no thanks. Great, now there's two different versions of Seedprod you can use. There's a Seedprod Lite version. Let's go to plugins and add new. And this is our free version that you can test out. Let's search for Seedprod. On the left-hand side here, we can click install now, and then we can activate the plugin. There you go, you see Seedprod here on the left-hand side and you're all ready to go ahead and use it. You have the landing pages, theme builder, subscribers, settings, growth tools, about us, request a feature, and to get the pro version. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and remove Seedprod here, and we'll go ahead and install the elite version of it. I'll just show you how to do that. Let's head over to seedprod.com, or you can click the link in the description below, and you wanna click on get Seedprod, and make sure you select the elite plan if you're looking for the WooCommerce blocks. Once you have an account set up with Seedprod, you can go ahead and click on login. On the left-hand side, enter your email address, your password, and click the login button. Now let's click the second tab from the left called downloads and click the big orange button here to download Seedprod Pro. We also want the license key here in the bottom left-hand corner. Let's go ahead and click that little icon there to copy that to clipboard and we can close this tab. Next, let's come back over to 
plugins and add new and let's upload a plugin here we have the choose file so you can click this and select that zip file from your hard drive or you can click it from your browser if you're using the same one or similar and drop it right on that choose file button let's go ahead and install now and activate the plugin next let's paste that license key right here verify key and if everything went well you should see a green success message and you're now using the pro or elite version of seed product with all of the features unlocked so just to test that let's go inside of the landing pages here and we'll just create a new landing page just the blank one is fine let's give it a name and i'll hit save and start editing the page and there we go we can see on the left hand side that we have our standard blocks all of our advanced blocks our woocommerce blocks are unlocked because we have woocommerce installed and now we're all set to create an incredible website let me know if you found this video helpful and what kind of website are you creating on your local computer let me know in the comments below i like hearing from you now that you know how to install wordpress woocommerce and seed prod on your pc maybe you'd like to check out these videos on creating a disney plus website clone or a spotify website clone by the end of these videos you'll be well on your way to creating incredible websites. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.